Here is a seven minute or so workout. Uh, we're going to go around seven different exercises. And I want you to set up your timer. I'm using Tabata Pro for 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. So each exercise takes around about a minute and uh, seven minutes or so, you're all done. That's one round complete. Right, I'm going to get my Tabata Pro set up. We have 10 seconds to get into position. Starting session. And we're going to start with a forward lunge move. And you're going to swing the arms overhead and keep the abs very strong. Stride up what? and stride back. You can wobble if you like. Stride it forward, swinging the arms overhead. Draw the tummy button stronger to spine. All the strength from this work is in the legs. So make sure that you are keeping your shoulders aligned over the hips and you are pushing back strongly from the leg. You can use an out breath right here. Stride out, breathe out. Step up and breathe. Keep it here. Keep shoulders relaxed away from ears and really engage those abs drawing strongly. Tell me button into spine. One last one. And you're there. Okay. Yes. Weights go down, we take up the resistance band. We are going to put the resistance band around the lower leg, tight in the bow. You may use your weights for this one if you wish, just hold one in each hand if you want to. We're going to do a little side spring. So we're going to three, three, two, one, back the other way. Three, two, one. Hands can be on hips. Just keep the side spring going. You're working the outer thigh and just getting a little bit of work into the heart and lungs. We're not doing major impacts here. Make sure you're not putting any pressure or stress on the pelvic floor with any of these. Draw the pelvic floor up. Keep everything nice and strong through the abs. Side to side. Keep that spring coming. We're nearly there. We've just got five, four, three, two, one. And Step out with your band or untie the bow if you prefer. Our next move is a squat, and we're going to work through different depths of the squat here. So make sure um, you play around with these different moves. We're going to start with eight nice deep ones seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your back nice and straight. You have a neutral spine. Three, two, one. Stay low for eight. Eight, seven, keep that neutral spine coming. Sit back, taking your body weight into the heels when you've done your eight. Stand tall, then we've got four. Three, two, one. Stay low. Four, three, two, one. Stand tall. You can also do yes. a wide turned out toe if you want to, taking the weights down. So put that one in next time round. Um, this one, again, you can keep your weights if you prefer and really pump the arms. We're going to shuffle move. We're going to go to the shuffle, back, forwards. Keep the feet nice and fast and really feel that you are using your abs very strongly here. The part of, big part of this move is to get the abs and the core working. About four to the move. Get a bit more than four to the end. Let's go side to side. Keep bringing the changes. Keep pumping. Again, this is low impact. You don't need to feel that you're not putting any pressure anywhere. So let's keep it nice and quick. Pumping the arms. So yes. then we're going to go with our deadlift move. Two weights, and you're going to have one heel lifted and the toe resting on the floor. I'll show you from the side of this move so you can see the back. Keep it fresh. Stand down. Flat yeah. back. Standing tall. Keep them coming. Flat back. Stand tall. This standing leg is not um, locked. It's very slightly flexed, but you're drawing up the kneecap nice and strongly. Keep it here. Stand tall. 
change the feet. And again, now keep very flat in the back. Start to feel that your hamstrings are working to draw you upright, nice and tall. Leaning forwards from the hip. Back is flat, chest is broad. Keep it here. And you are down. Turn four to finish. Rest. Now we're going to go with our resistance band move. To work into the obliques at the side of the trunk. You're going to stand on the band, the length of the band is coming out from the outside of the foot. Band to shoulder, ready to start. So do a side lunge and drive overhead with the arm. Feet together. Side lunge and reach. Feet together. Step it out. Now breathe out here. Step out. Breathe out. So here with the out breath, you can have a go at lifting the pelvic floor on the out breath. But really make sure you're working the side of the body. I've over shot on that one. Change it over. Reach and stand tall. Reach and stand tall. Keep it coming. Use the out breath. So you're working the left side of your feet. Stand tall. Rest. And release your band. We've got one more move here in this little circuit. And that is your wood chop move. Take two weights. Treat them as one, keep them nice and close. We're going to work from a static wood chop into a travelling wood chop. So take the weight, press the knee, breathe out yeah. up to the shoulder. Knee to shoulder, knee to shoulder. We're going to do 10 seconds in each position. So let's change it here to the other shoulder, down to knee. Breathe out, knee, breathe. Keep them here. And now we're going to build in the travel. There we go. Side skip, breathe out. Side skip, lower the weight. Side skip, out breath. Side skip, and lower. Stay low here for the last 10 seconds. Breathe out. Side skip and lower. Breathe out. One last time. There we go. Breathe out. Rest. You are done. You have a final 20 second rest. And then your session is complete. Um, repeat that as many times as you wish, perhaps a maximum of four. And feel free to vary weights and vary your foot position. Session complete. Well done.